Okay, so this is a super fast overview of all the significant panels involved in procedural design. We can select an object and, and with the color panel, change its color, its fill or its stroke indeed. We can do the same using the swatches panel, the difference being that these are stored presets of color. We can also fill in the swatches panel with a gradient, which we can then edit using the gradient editor. With the stroke panel, it really comes into its own when you make it show options. In its default state, you can get it to uh, change the width of your stroke, which is not very impressive. But also, when you have options showing, you can change the way it behaves in its cap and its corners. For the corners, I will demonstrate here. There we go. We can, using the transform panel, we can uh, rotate and change by exact increments, in this case 33 degrees. Okay. We can, using the uh, pathfinder panel, we can take two objects, two or more objects, and combine them in different ways. Okay. Using the brushes panel, we can apply a funky uh, brush stroke to a path. We can organize our document using the layers panel. And using the layers panel in conjunction with the transparency panel, we can set layer blends for selected objects and also mask those objects. We can have a brief summary of the, uh, uh, of the stroke and the fill and indeed the style attributes of any selected object. And we can also edit those attributes using the appearance panel. And what else? Yes, the navigator, not a very exotic panel. What one thing it does give us is a preview of what the final result will look like without that annoying overbleed over the artboard. Okay. And the symbols panel, I will uh, summarize that in a separate video. It's, it's a little bit easier to do that way. And I believe that's it.